Right before we went to break, we just talked about an historical event that happened at the AUC. Now, what this event was, it was actually a rally and representation of Genesis, 6, but it involved the whole AUC, which included Spellman, Morris Brown, ITC, Clark, and Morehouse, if I'm not mistaken, right? Morehouse was it? Spell Spellman. I'm sorry, Spellman. <laughs> and so that was an historical event. But I think that it was a good thing because we need AUC unity as a whole because a lot of the things that people don't know about Atlanta University Center, like it's still separated. Like Morehouse is just, um, I guess it's, it's labels and stereotypes. Morehouse are the gay men and Spellman <laughs> are like, I guess the prissy girls yeah. and we're the fashion idolized school mm -hmm. that only cares about Prada, Gucci bags and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And Morris Brown, like a lot of people kicked them out because they lost accreditation. Yeah. Nobody really pays attention to them. ICC, I really don't know what they're like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it really helped bring us together and realize that it was more than color, the stereotypes, it was a bigger cause. Right. And um, yeah. I really love how it was all wearing all black and stuff because I had on all my black. That's I had a little sad. skirt and Me all too. that. Me too. That's so I just, I really was feeling that. Yeah. I also saw people walking over there and they're all black and they had actual like picket signs like mm -hmm. walking over. So seeing that like visually, like seeing that, it was crazy because you always seen it in the history books and reading about it, but mm -hmm. actually being able to see it right there right. physically, it was, you know, it was. Yeah, it was cool. Like, I mean, I actually was able to go to the rally that happened because actually the meeting point, like where the speakers were involved, was right. at the Martin Luther King Chapel in, uh, at Morehouse. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, I thought it was really cool because, I mean, for example, we, okay, we had speakers from the Association of Human Workers. Um, he was good. We had um, just a whole different organization just come through. But to me, the best part was when the, um, all the SGAs from the different schools spoke. Right. And, of course, you know, I don't know if y'all went to Olive Branch, but, you know, when they spoke, it was like no, a lot yeah. of, well, you know, I went, yeah. whatever. <laughs> it was a lot of separation, but... I, you know, here, I mean, Spelman Girls was cheering for Clarks, SGA, you know, everybody was just cheering for everybody, and it was just like, you know, the AUC, yeah, the AUC, the the AUC, AUC. you know what I'm finally, saying? Finally, yeah, I finally. hope it'll continue, too, right, cause because we need it. I mean, I was just telling um my friend yesterday, I was like, you know, before, when I came to visit the, visit the school, you know, I did a college visit or whatever, right. mm -hmm. you know, I, I went back home, and I was like, you know, Clark is across the street from, right. I mean, Spelman, and right, you know, right there on the same campus as my right. house, you know, the A AC lot of people don't know that either. It's crunk, and da 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 and I know all of us are together. I stepped foot on this campus. I was oh, like, no love. No, no love. Like, no love. No love. Like, no love. Orientation, like Clark, like we was able to go out of campus, whatever. Right. Spelman, locked up. Morehouse, locked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? So for, for you know, the, that event to happen, you know what I'm saying, at, at the MLK Center was, it was something that I'll probably ever forget. Yeah. Because it was something, it was, it, we it go, lived through it. This is our generation civil rights This is going to be in the history books for right. the next generation. Yeah. So. It's, it's something to it's, talk it's, about. It's tight, man. Like, it really is. I'm just, I'm just happy. Like, I'm just really, even though it's a bad event, and what happened is sad, and we shouldn't have to go through it. It really made, like, especially the AUC, like, grow up. And, right. like, you know, it's a like, wake up call. So, yeah. what other speakers were there just to? Um, I told you, like, just people, like, different organizations, like, different civil rights organizations that was, like, um, that was based in Atlanta. Um, okay. A lot of, like, um, people, like, groups that. Fox 5 was there, too. Fox 5 was there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were filming the whole thing. Right. Um, but they really, like, the organizations that were there, they were there to, um, like, their purpose was to help, like, my, minority workers and, like, you mm -hmm. know, and some, one organization was there, like, to help, like, black or minority, ju you know, juveniles, right. like, get released and stuff like that. So, like, they spoke and, like, they, everybody referred back to Martin Luther King. Or you know Malcolm X, Malcolm X yeah. and, yeah, and um, that same quote, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Yeah. I heard a lot of speakers. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> or I've been to the mountaintop. Right. But I mean, even though I heard it, it was still motivational. Like because I mean, everybody was just so pumped and so like you know ready to just you know what I'm saying just stand right, up, right. you know, take a stand, and that's. And I was I was crunk. I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, yeah, I'm black. I felt I felt <laughs> like I, <laughs> that was weird, but I felt. Like, I really did feel like I was down for the cause. Like, I really felt proud to be African-American. Like, you know, because just the, the stereotypes we've been based on, you know, right. especially in, like, the hip-hop community. Exactly. Hip -hop. Uh, exactly. That's all that's in the topics, the headlines, and 
it's it's ridiculous how they exploit women and I mean and the media plays a big part also right because they're the main cause of all the stereotypes of all the racism it all draws back to the media it does it does I was just it's like my thing was and I thought about it like the other day I was watching um BT, I was watching 50 Cent. Right. He had like the testimony thing or whatever. So I was watching it, you know, doing my, doing my paper. And um, I was like, you know, all, he was like explaining all the money that he gets. And I was like, you know what? He's that, arrogant. Yeah, he really is. But I was like, that could have helped Michael Bell get out of jail. You know what it I'm saying? Really like could. all that money could have paid for his bail. Or, but you he's know free now, so it really doesn't yeah, matter. Yes, free doesn't matter. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Still, like your priority is in the wrong place. Like, like you could kind of like leave that chain alone a little bit. <laughs> You know, don't get too iced out and help somebody else. Like, right. get iced to me or something. But, you know, it's I'm struggling in college. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, Aren't we all loans, loans, loans? And that's all I have to say. About <laughs> that. That's right. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, I mean, we got we to, gotta, like, think about our priorities and what's important in life and what's important for our heritage and our people. And it's, it's unity. It's definitely unity. And the Genesis really reminds us that, it's just unity and loving one another and realizing, hey, like I said, and like I keep reiterating, we're black. And I mean, just because you are a certain status, you make certain money, oh, I'm famous now, you're still black. And mm -hmm. if you walk in a room full of white people, they're still gonna say what? You're, you're black. black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I don't care what shade you are, <laughs> right. you are black. Right. And a lot of people, a lot of black people don't want to own up to it. You're black, baby, so I mean. You're right. You you're gotta right. own up to that and Especially know that racism exists. In the suburbs. Exactly. Yeah. You're still black. Yeah, and it it just man, it's just crazy. Like no matter how much money you have, or you're what what you do, black. you know what I'm saying? You're like Oprah is known not as the richest woman in the world, but the richest black, black woman, woman in, in the world. world. Like you know what I'm saying? So like it's just a reminder. Like oh, you're black and you're no, you're right. millionaire, but you're black. Like mm -hmm. wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, like <gasps> you know what I'm saying? And it's just like. Wow, we're still considered in this stereotype. Like it's crazy. Like even where I, where I am, we're very diverse where I'm from. But I mean, it it just never it never ceases. Ends, you know, it never right. ends. Like I'm still known as the black girl. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. not as a person. And so, but the thing about it is, is I mean, Jenna Six. At first, I ain't gonna lie. I had my own little like, you know, insecurities about it. You know, right. I was just like, yo, man, whatever. The, you know, I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with it, but. Now, since Genesis 6 happened, I'm comfortable in knowing, like, I'm black. Everything's okay, right. Everything's okay. And, I mean, I'm justice fine. was served. So, I mean, even in the end, like, Michael Bell, you know, he's free, so justice is served. I don't know if this is off topic or not, but there's also a news hunk at University of Maryland by their, I guess it's African American Research Building. And it's weird because it's... I mean, racism everywhere, but mm -hmm. up north is yeah. kind of like yeah. exactly because a lot of blacks back in the day they went up north to be free. Yeah, like, you Harlem, right. Harlem yep. was the popping spot mm -hmm. for like black people. They yeah, would go black there Renaissance. And, yeah, exactly. The harm. Yeah, exactly. So what happened? Basically, what? What? Happened? It was a news found. They don't know if it's related to the Genesis Six or not, or Gen Genesis Six mm -hmm. or not. But it was found. I don't know what conclusion they came to, but it's just weird that it happened. Like as they were settling the case with the Gina Six. Wow. So yeah. In Maryland? Like what? University of Maryland. Yeah. Wow. Like And like they knew where they were hanging it because it's right outside African American. I don't know what study it is, but mm -hmm. right outside that building, that tree, right there. So they knew what they were doing. I don't know. When, when are we ever going to learn? Sadly, guys, our show has finally come to an end. But Final Authority is produced by Clark Atlanta University Mass Communication students. So tune in weekdays from 3 to 4 p.m. We will continue to keep it real, discussing real issues in real time affecting our community.